I start the demonstration, uh, I would like to say a little bit more, uh, just uh, uh, bring you our different understanding of the Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, you know, uh, let's talk, Tai Chi Chuan is coordinate with uh, traditional Chinese philosophy, which is uh, Yi Jing, uh, from Yin Yang philosophy, five element of philosophy, developing it uh, into a martial art area. So the Yin Yang philosophy means uh, talk about uh, one thing in two different directions. Uh, like when we talk about the moon, we sing still and move. When we talk about uh, uh, movement big, we call uh, close and open. And also uh, when we are talk about uh, weight or energy, we sing is uh, full or empty. So in our practice, uh, Tai Chi Quan, uh, all time actually we are include this yin yang philosophy. Like when we want to go forward, we from back, go to forward. When we want to go to left, from right, go to left. From forward, go to back. Back, go to forward. So always yin changing to yang, yang changing to yin. And yin yang, they have a relationship, is developing one to the other. It's like a day to night, night to day, and always continuing move and never stop. And uh, uh, yin yang, they also have uh, interesting things. They can against each other. From this point of view, we understand the uh, opponent use full, you can use empty to deal with the opponent. Opponent use hard, you can use soft, hard, soft. This is yin yang. You can use a soft to counter your opponent's, uh, you know, hard needs. So uh, this, uh, those all understanding is from yin yang philosophy. The push hands actually uh, is uh, uh, a testing of how you use this philosophy into the martial arts and how you make it work. Uh, here, uh, when we are practice push hands, first I would like you. Uh, first to know, uh, the push hands is just uh, uh, exercise, okay, it's not our final. Uh, it's an exercise for we to understand uh, from the philosophy how we use our energy. Uh, in final, we still have to go to free fight because uh, the real time, uh, they were not really good going to, win, uh, to do push hands with you. They are straight fighting with you. So we just want to use uh, push hand this method uh, to make you understand uh, the Tai Chi Chuan's energy and uh, make you uh, work and uh, uh, you know to be alive for what you learn uh, the principles. So this is about the push hands and uh, to be uh, available to use our skills. Uh, we need uh, first uh, practice some forms, okay? That means uh, even you practice two people, they still have some form. This form a little bit different than hand form because you practice two people together. And uh, you use uh, this form uh, starting make you uh, can follow the principle, which is uh, uh, less talked, uh, like sticking, uh, adhering, following and connecting. When you're getting used to for those principles, then you can make things free. Then, you know, when we practice push hands, we start from simple, like not moving footwork, then get into the footwork moving. Uh, we start from how sequence, then become to no sequence, uh, no, fo uh, no forms. Everything is a follow of opponents uh, moving and you are like a, artists and creating uh, your movements and deal with the opponent. So actually that's the final step uh, we are going to, uh, you know, from beginning uh, reach to the end. But also I want you to understand uh, pushing it is also very good exercise. Uh, you just, uh, uh, you know, from practice point of view, not from martial arts point of view, uh, still it's a very good exercise because uh, it's make you mind uh, think about 
how to deal with your opponent, uh, you know, keep your mind sharp, and also keep your body state in a good balance. So, uh, from any of the direction, push hand, it is a very good uh, exercise. So now, I from the beginning, uh, show you uh, what the push hand looks like. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, as you can see. Uh, when we started, uh, push hand have two kind of push hands. One is a fixed stamp, one is a moving stamp. So when we started, we always start from fixed stamp. So uh, here we start even <coughs> fixed stamp. We have a single arm push hands. So which is only use uh, one arm. You can see when we are getting touched to each other, we are always stay connect, <coughs> no separate, and also no resisting. No separate because we don't want loose information from your opponent. Okay, so if we separate, that your opponent is free. I don't know what my opponent is going to do the next. When I keep touch, then I have control it. And also, I don't want to resist because from the philosophy we see, uh, you don't want to use hard against hard. Opponent push you use hard, you use soft, and leaving your opponent's energy to the side. So use soft, you know, counter your opponent's hard. Then you know after we practice a single arm push in, then we go to double arms push hands. So here, double arms push in are, looks a little bit complicated. Uh, we first, we say use a four square energy circle. Uh, means here, include ward out, press, roll back, and push. Okay, four square energy. And uh, we know, uh, some people you may know, uh, Tai Chi Chuan, we talk about eight energies and the five steps. So here, we're showing four squared energy. Uh, we don't show the other four because uh, our body is very center. When we body loose start, uh, go to the diagonal or starting loose balance out of, out of the center, then the diagonal energy is start coming. So from here, Diagonal square, they are like yin and yang, helping each other. So when you are center starting getting, uh, you know, loose center, okay, so the diagonal energy will come. For example, when my opponent's energy pushing to me, uh, when I start getting loose center, then, you know, diagonal energy, you know, start coming. So from here, you know, use diagonal energy, bring my center back to the original. So that's the, uh, you know, uh, diagonal square, how, you know, uh, coordinate to each other. So the double arms push hands actually is uh, quite complicated. We have many, many circles. Uh, also, we can see the forms uh, you need to study. More circles you learn, uh, more changes you have. So uh, we talk about Tai Chi, actually is talk about change. Yi Jing, what means of the Yi? Yi means change. If you can change, then you are alive. If you cannot change, then the things is finished. So when we are practice with our opponent, it's like we are playing game to each other. Uh, you can continue change or not. You can continue change, that means you are alive. You cannot change anymore, uh, that means uh, you are finished. Uh, keep pushing, uh, that means you know, uh, it's already finished. Uh, yin yang is already not coordinated to each other. They are not together. So from here, uh, the circles, we have many circles. I just give you a little idea, okay? So you can see from a vertical circle, uh, we have a horizontal circle. Uh, from a horizontal circle, uh, we also have a little bit of smaller circle. Uh, circle getting small. And also we have the four energy circle um, from horizontal direction and from left, right, right, left. And also, you know, you can from here uh, have different way to make circles. And use a different joint, contact your opponent. Uh, 
circling start from how sequence become to uh, no forms, no sequence, and we come become to a free circle. And doesn't matter how we circle, you can see always we have touching point. We have touching point means we have controlling our opponent. And we have control on our opponent, then you know we have the 